Hi, this is the weekly horoscope for Cancer for the week of November 12th, 2023. Hello, my fabulous crabs. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie. And make sure to like, subscribe, and share. I am at 1,200. And 91 subscribers let's make that to 2,000 subscribers and subscribe anywho lots going on in the stars so like I was saying Coronas and um, Hades we have those two planets in your natal chart in your first house for 20 years so pay attention to these energies that are happening to you right now because they're gonna occur again and again so you're gonna have these theme songs so you have a stellum in retrograde with your first house all four planets but not to worry because two of them are going to start moving Vesta and Selena is going to move back into the 12th house with this energy here and they're going to be direct so by February all right so you need to watch your emotional life at this time this can be a heavy energy time for some of you especially dealing with responsibilities Oh, excuse me when it comes to your personal life you can be going through it emotionally here you can be feeling withdrawn you can be more invested in your head at this time and overthinking situations with this energy. This could also be dealing with obsessive thinking at this time. You can be sitting on your hands about a lot of things going on in your life because you're over analyzing, you're overthinking. You're very analytical though in your way of thinking. You're too much about your reality, so your reality could be very upsetting to, um, to you instead of delving into faith consciousness and seeing beyond to your sixth sense with this energy here. This is a great time for the law of attraction, a great time with the stellum in your sixth house and the sign of Sagittarius to work on yourself with this energy, okay? This is a great time to deal with the subconscious and to be more selfish when it comes to your positive energy, which a lot of you are doing and you're like separating yourself from anybody that is not on Team Crabs and you're very much about your positivity and things like that. So you're not dealing or invested in other people's drama at this time and you can be using this time period to work on yourself quit bad habits quit getting lit for a while with this energy working on health and fitness at this time with this energy as well this could be getting a job for some of you this could be a beautiful time for business picking up this week a beautiful time for career um, you're really being re well received at this time and also it's the full moon on Monday too and recognize you're putting your best foot forward at this time with this energy and you're receiving a lot of recognition and growth at this time either you're relying more on your intuition on Monday or you could be your own worst enemy when it comes to opportunities for growth with this energy because you have to mull it over and you have to think about it with this energy here also at this time either with Uranus Queen Cunsing the South Node with your fourth house here this could be missed opportunities for growth with this energy Energy. So for some of you, growing means going somewhere else, means that you have to move um, or travel like away from home at this time. For others of you, you're reevaluating your relationships. For some of you, your relationships in life can take a surprise turn of events, God forbid. Or this could be whoever has to leave your life, let them leave your life. You can reconnect with people from your past with this energy here as well. More than likely family members. I feel like at this time, you can be dealing with more responsibilities with other people's children or with family members um, more than usual. So expect the unexpected with Uranus Queen Cunsing the South Node at this time with your fourth house, okay? Be careful with what you get yourself involved in at this time. This could be a time for destiny for some of you, but at the same time, with the stellum in Cancer, you're not ready unless it's by your hand you are not ready to move in on to move to new situations like you really are holding your own and standing your ground okay then the Lilith moon is forming a kite energy on Tuesday with the third fifth and ninth third fifth ninth and first house try to see the blessing in the situation this can be a positive time for communication some good gossip happening or you could be kept in the loop about what's going on with your career you can be getting along better with family members that live outside the home you can be instilling their help at this time and there could be more willing to help you out with this energy or lightening your load you are your own harsh critic and also other people can be criticizing you as well which does not make it easy for you you're not going to react but you are taking it 
personally and it's upsetting to you you know take the constructive criticism as an opportunity to make ego smaller you don't gotta tell the person that you took the, the you took the constructive criticism but apply it anyways because it's for your benefit okay not theirs this could be in regards to what somebody says to you like you're trying you're trying to see it as a compliment and it's kind of like a compliment with a slap across the face okay um so you don't know how to take this insult or this situation about what somebody said to you because it sounds like a compliment but then with a backhanded slap and you're like huh i feel like you're trying not to read too much into a situation or you're trying not to be to read too much into what somebody said at this time with this energy and you're trying to take it with grace and stride at this time then on wednesday this is a great time to mingle if you're single um this can be a long-term relationship coming into your life this could also be um you working hard you love to be in your routine so you could be very bubbly and optimistic when you're in your routine and you can be taking on a lot more hours and kind of being like a workaholic at this time with this energy you may not be able to work full time for some of you here because you have a stellum in your fourth house so you could be getting sick you could be dealing with your disabilities um they could be flaring up at this time your supervisors at work may not be dependable north node says says quadrating the sun in the 10 and 6 house it can be a hard time getting ahead when it comes to your career you may not be getting along with those in authority for others of you you could find the focus is more towards your home life and personal life especially in regards to taking care of other family members superiors may question your authority or leadership at this time demotion or dismissal can happen with this energy if you overstep your boundaries for some of you i would be careful with this energy because of the north node queen Kunsing um uranus this week so you know things with career can change and also the north node is says quadrating your sixth house at this time so you know be really careful you can be reevaluating your relationships it may seem like people only want you from one thing here or other people are not recognizing your potential and what you bring to the table so you could be definitely reevaluating your career your relationships you're not so quick to make new friends here with this energy it could be a situation where certain people at work could be um or even at school could be trying to figure you out and the way they go about doing it could be nasty so you could be dealing with like an aries or you could be dealing with like a taurus here the, and they're kind of like picking on you you know being like bullies at this time so you're not so quick to make friends and you're just kind of observing the situation and you're trying not to let um, people or situations bother you thursday your personal popularity increases others tend to lean on you for emotional support and confide in you watch for a tendency towards overindulgence you may lack self-discipline on thursday watch your spending you may lack seriousness and prone to make inappropriate jokes at the wrong time be careful socially awkward or embarrassing situations may crop up on thursday you could be reconnecting with people from your past um, just to air out your grievances with them and kind of clear the air whatever thought that that whatever was bothering you or you thought was bothering them with this energy and like asking the questions that have always been burning in your head you may also miss certain people at this time and be thinking about them and you're wanting to reach out with that to them and revisit them you may not get much done on thursday with this energy co-workers tend to rub you the wrong way try to take these few days off if you can if you're not inclined to want to work hard health problems can crop up at this time because of overindulgence your boss may seem overly demanding and unreasonable about deadlines you probably feel overloaded and overstressed um, you can feel burnt out with your routine so you can find yourself napping a lot or not really getting much done at this time so this is a good time to change up your routine with this energy or even eat healthier to try to boost your energy levels up at this time as well or to rest more um friday you can find that you're able to get work done around the office more easily office routine quickens health improves you may need a lot um you can get a lot done in a short amount of time 
in the office. You may have to make decisions about employment. For some of you, this is a good time for business picking up, or you could be throwing yourself into your work. Some unexpected news may come in with issues related to estate or inheritance. A partner's finances may lack stability and banks are unwilling to extend credit. It is a good time to check your credit report. This could be a new responsibility happening at work, not for, not for all of you, but some of you. It depends what's going on in your natal chart, and you could find that you could be throwing yourself into something new at this time, or you could be put in a leadership position so you could be very serious about your job or you appreciate the changes that are coming up in your routine and you could be throwing yourself into your work this week with this energy. All right, let's look at the cards. So the first card I come up with is the Eight of Cups. You're over certain situations, of course. All right. But, you know, change may not happen till after February with the planets. OK, so be aware of that. I feel for some of you here, there could be expect the unexpected quick changes happening here with this energy. All right. And things can happen very fast at this time. So be careful with this energy. That could be the Uranus quincuncing the north, the south node this week. So just be prepared for that. Expect the unexpected this week. The Six of Wands, this is a time of moving forward. You could be ha happy and optimistic about the changes that are coming up for you. So this could be a positive time for that. Um, the Magician card, as above, so below. I feel like some of you could be married to your job as I connect with this energy, okay? Um, so this could be a really busy time for you in regards to career with this energy, all righty? I feel like for some of you here... This could be a great time for those of you with creative endeavors because you are you could be feeling like you're put on your path to make the world a better place with this energy here as well. So you can feel more of a connection with your purpose-driven journey, okay? The Knight of Coins, the mind on the money and the money on the mind. There could be another source of income coming in for some of you here. This could be getting a second or third job here because some of you here like to keep yourself busy and you like to be about your financial security. So you can be getting like two, three jobs with this energy. This could also be business picking up this time as well for some of you you can be moving because of work because there's more money in a different state or country for you as well so you could be looking into that um this week the two of cups i feel like certain people in your life could be emotionally supporting you for some of you career changes brings love okay all right so it brings love at this time with this energy. The moon card, I feel like you could be romanticizing this relationship. For some of you, you could be working nights with this energy. For others of you, I feel like you could be, you know, and this happens a lot to crabs, is that, you know, first you feel really like awful and horrible about your job and you absolutely hate your job and that you and i think like like anytime the planets change you go through phases with your job first i you know like a sour you guys are like sour patch kids with your careers and so is libra you love your job and then and then you know the moment they start giving you nothing more than praise you want to like quit your job and you want to move on to something else okay so you could be feeling some kind of way about your job at this time. And then something awesome happens, and then you go back to feeling really awesome about your job, okay? So you flip-flop back and forth. I love you. I hate you. I love you. I hate you. But it's with your job. So now you could be back on the ups again. You could also be romanticizing a relationship in your life. Not necessarily a love relationship, but this could be also somebody coming back from your past with this energy here that you had a falling out with. And you could be romanticizing sizing that person okay the seven of coins and you're not so quick to go back into that relationship and this could also be an ex and you're kind of like you're romanticizing it you're like yes it was good yes you know it could be something with like baby mama baby daddy situation where baby mama or baby daddy does something cute and you're like oh my gosh i love that but then you didn't forget all the all the bullshit that you went through with them and how badly they treated you and how they cheated on your ass for no damn reason okay and how they treated 
you and you're like but I'm not gonna go back to that okay so it could be that kind of situation or it could be a situation where somebody that you thought you were gonna have a relationship with and you had sex with them and then they dumped your ass is coming back and they're like thinking that they can come back to you and you're like I don't know because and they're saying all the right things to you at this time and you're like I don't know and you're kind of over it anyways and you just gotten over it too and you could be seeing somebody else and that's the problem you were seeing somebody else and they were like oh now I got to go back to them so and you don't know if you want them back you know because you know that in your mind you know what time it is mercury is going retrograde so this person is definitely going to be a lesson because guess what they're not they're going to do the same crap to you all over again so it's up to you what you want to do be careful with your giving energy at this time Alrighty, because you may have lessons with your giving energy coming up. The Hierophant card, fate is intervening into your life at this time. This could also be joining a group or organization for some of you here. For others of you, there could be some career offers coming up for you unexpectedly in regards to joining um, somebody's business or something like that. Maybe they liked your work ethics and you could be receiving some kind of job opportunity through somebody else or somebody else could be like, you know, you need to come and join here. So, you know, and stuff like that if you're complaining and bitching about your job, okay? So there's opportunities to join a new group, but you could be thinking about it at this time. Um, getting more money. You're about your job security at this time. So again, you have a stellum in your first house. So everything could be up in the air at this time with this energy, okay? So at this time, you're taking in all these options. This could also be an emotionally confusing time for you because you have all these directions that you want to go into, but you want, of course, you know, I swear, and you want the best option for you i get it my crabs i get it <laughs> you know it's like but she's so indecisive right now i could fools i don't know i do see prayers being answered at this time with this energy here as well so be careful what you're manifesting so shall it become the tower card fate is intervening so if you got to get kicked out of a situation because you're manifesting i hate my job i hate my job and you get kicked out of it see the blessing in it because you didn't want to work there in the first place so kiss my grits okay so it could be like that kind of thing happening as well so don't get butt hurt about it when it happens and just take it in stride because you didn't want to be there anyways. And this is just, you know, Uranus Queen Cunsing the South Node. It's just putting you on your destiny, okay? So that's all that is. So this could be a time for destiny and expect the unexpected when it comes to your future with this situation. Whatever is no longer supposed to be for you, that's going to be taken away because you already learned the lessons that you needed to learn in that situation. And it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing, okay? The Seven of Swords, you can be more quiet into yourself. You can, you know, you know, you're going to, you could get fired, some of you. You could get laid off. You could, could get taken out of a situation. And you're going to see the blessing the blessing that comes right after that situation and you know we're in the period also of hanukkah you know and the stellum in sagittarius so a time for miracles here so you're going to see the blessing from leaving a group a situation friendships at this time with this energy okay so this is not necessarily a bad thing this is like a really good thing the lover's card i see somebody having an emotional affair crushing on somebody of course when are you guys not but also you're manifesting this person into your life okay so pray harder for others of you you're dealing with um changes in your personal relationships so your love relationships can be going through a lot of changes at this time with this energy your values wants and needs and desires could be changing as well as your partners all right for some of you this could be separation but during the mercury retrograde your partner may come back but you may not want your partner because you could be looking at somebody else at this time and going i want that person okay so you're not really trying to intrigue this relationship because you're trying to manifest a new relationship into your life but know that this person is not over you okay know that this person still wants you back in your life but at the same time you're like 
been there, done that, not doing that again, okay? Um, the Sun card, I feel like you could get clarity on a situation. You could be grounded at this time and you could start seeing things for what they really are and the reality of your situation as well. So you're able to move on from certain situations. The King of Coins, I feel like for some of you here, this is stability in relationship coming up for you, okay? This is either financial stability. I feel like this person is going to take care of you as well they may have a good job they may have their their stuff together their life together okay so this is a great time for relationships this could also be a great time for business picking up for you as well i feel like for some of you here you could be creating real boundaries with other people people and this may be you not talking to certain people in your life okay and that's how some of you are going to do it and just kind of quietly walk away i feel like these people will get that you're creating boundaries with them but you know i feel like they're kind of like trains they're just going to continue like constantly passing your boundaries and seeing what they can get away with at this time the page of swords listen to your own wisdom and advice during this time period as well i do feel like other people could be very critical of you of the choices that you're making and they're not agreeing with you at this time with how you're moving okay and you may not know how you want to move okay but at this time you know that you need to move left and right and zigzag and all sorts because for right now you're zigzagging and you're doodling around that what makes sense to you at this time in your life okay until you can make sense of certain situations in your life this is what you need to do at this time because this is what makes you feel comfortable and this is like, you know, this is your safe pace, okay? Not listening to them, not following them makes you feel unsafe. For some of you, you're more invested in your dreams. This is restoring your strength and balance and creating more harmony in your life, being more grounded at this time, being more about your sanity with this energy. I feel for some of you here, you could be lucky in love with this energy as well. The Four of Cups, you could be using this time period to invest more into yourself with this energy, you can be more about your financial security at this time um, with this energy here as well. I feel like for some of you here, you're just kind of like staying away from everybody. You're kind of like in hermit mode at this time because of the stuff in your fourth house. It's pretty heavy energy, you know, so you could be feeling all sorts of ways this week with this energy. And it's okay. Go through your emotional process. You know, maybe you have to go through a lot of emotional epiphanies before you evolve into a butterfly and it may take 20 years okay because maybe you have to perfect your emotional self during that time period the page of cups i do see you dating okay um i do see new love coming in for some of you this is just dating so just date and get to know this person okay this may not be anything serious right now but later on it could be, you know, we know what time it is. Not the best time to go dating, but to like talk and get to know people during the Mercury retrograde, okay? I do see fulfillment having a, through romance. I do see wanting love. When do crabs and Aries, when do you not want love? I swear, you know, it's like crabs and Aries if, in Libras. If y'all can go chase, well, crabs and Aries mostly. If y'all can go chasing after love, I swear there would be a war over love between Aries and crabs because you guys love love okay um, the six of coins a time for destiny prayers being answered soulmates are coming in the temperance card I feel like for some of you here that your partner could be traveling at this time and they may be out of town for two weeks or one week for others of you this could be in the next two weeks or one week that your know, soulmate can come into your life at this time but we're doing it during the mercury retrograde so that means that you two have soul contracts to fulfill you don't got you know you can stay in the relationship but you two have to acknowledge what time it is you know and be like oh damn we're doing that at the wrong time you know and be like you know and evolve together and make it a point that if you guys want to be together that you two will evolve together okay that you will work through this time period which is not auspicious for relationships okay and it just means that you two have opportunities to grow with each other okay because you two have like some kind of contract that you have to make with each other okay i do see that for some of you your partner is like your rock 
okay, and your emotional stability, so you're really enjoying it. For some of you, this could be a future relationship, which brings about a lot of stability, emotional stability to you, all righty, and I see that happening for you. The Emperor card, you're more about your sanity. I feel like this person is older than you, and they find you to be their type, but again, we have too many planets in, ca in Cancer, so you know how you Cancer males do. You like to take your time and mull over it because you don't want to be hurt. You don't want to be rejected by this person. You know, so you're scared to delve into love at this time. You rather like think about it, manifest it, God give me signs, than pursue it at this time, okay? You could be in a leadership position this week with this energy. You can be taking on new responsibilities or you can be putting more on your plate this week. So be careful how much you put on your plate because by Thursday, you're not gonna wanna do anything. The Seven of Cups, I see lots of thoughts of future, future, future coming up for you. The chariot card of victory is happening. You can be getting, ex you could be getting that lover that you want that you've been manifesting. For some of you, this could be a raise or a promotion coming up for you this week with this energy here. Alrighty, the eight of coins. I feel like you could be obsessed with this person. You could be throwing yourself into work and being a workaholic or married to your job. For some of you here, I feel like you could be a perfectionist when it comes to career. And the death card does talk about changes. So certain situations or certain things that you have come to depend on or rely on may no longer apply in your life at this time. All right. I love you, my crabs. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie. And make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Kisses.